One moment. Trying to adjust my camera so I'm a little bit more in center when I play. And that working. I didn't want to do. Oh, okay, that, that'll do. My shield shit up here. Hi. I don't know who you are, but I like you. Okay. Now I just need to load up the chat. Up, 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 uh. Chat again. It just went. To... Open live chat in a window. Perfect. I will set that there. Okay. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm blind, and in honor of Star Trek's 50th anniversary, I am going to be playing Star Trek Online. It just came out on the PS4 and on Xbox, but I'm playing it on the PS4. I know it's been on PC for a while, and uh, I tried to get into it, but it just, I, I just don't, I don't have time to be able to do PC gaming, and I don't want to sit and, and do all that, I don't know. It's never really appealed to me. So, I'm playing it on my console, on my PS4. Uh, so I've already signed in. That took a while. Oh boy! Uh, their sign-in link account linking system it kept telling me I, my code was invalid, and yet I put it in correctly. It, then it kept telling me the code was used, so I had to create a brand new account altogether. I would almost say you can follow me on that account, but it's like a it's a dumb thing. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Anyway, so. Let's create a character. Um, I think I'm going to do. You know, as much as I, like is is probably being a Romulan would be cool or a Klingon would be cool. I think I, my as far as being a Star Trek fan, my thing is I'm going to be like I've always been a Starfleet fan. So uh, okay, do I want human and Dorian? Bajoran, Benzite, nah, I never really liked those, Beta Zed, yeah, that could be cool, Bullion, no, Ferengi, no, Paclid, oh, I remember these, yeah, no, Argillian, no, Saurian, no, Tellurite, no, Trill, maybe? I do like Trill. Yeah, but I Vulcan no alien, just a random alien. Okay, no. That's the thing. Why, why can't you be like a? Well, I guess Klingons don't work. Okay, fine. I'll just be a uh, human. Do I want to be human guy or girl? I could be a guy. Then I could play as me if I wanted to. But you know what? I'm gonna be staring at something. I'd rather stare at something nice, so I'd rather be a, uh, a female. Uh, engineer, uh, science officer, tactical officer. Tactical, you're a tactical officer. You're on the front lines of our convoys and skid, blah, 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 blah. As long as there is anyone or anything threatening, 
the Federation, you will be there to protect it. Well, how do I... I just want to be... I just want to be in command. Well, no, I'd rather be... A, yeah, it's tactical officer. I'm generally one in command, so that's fine. Okay, so... So I guess I can only choose a certain face. And it only gives me a few options. <laughs> Wow, they really aren't into customization, are, are they? Oh, okay, well at least now I can see what she looks like. No, oh, wow, okay, that's a bit old, no. Uh, no. Well, yeah, I guess. Change colors. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much pale across the board. So, let's do that. Uh, switch to advance. Oh, oh, wow, okay. So now I guess I can do all kinds of stuff. Fine. Okay, uh, I guess I could do mix. Uh, oh. Oh! I can go super awesome. I was it did love, like, dark red lipstick. Not for myself, mind you. I just think that that's, that looks awesome. Uh. No. No, no, definitely not age. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Ooh, I could go for Scar. Where's the tattoo? Where the tat? Where? Okay, so where's the tattoo then? Well, that doesn't really help. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna go none. Eyes, humanoid or narrow? Yeah, humanoid. Uh. Yeah, they're more of a dark. My eyes are kind of like more of a dark. Eyebrows, yeah, it's fine. Color, kind of more of a. Ooh, no, I want red. I want red because I want a red head. Yeah. Ooh, I could give myself a visor. No, they never improved it. I, duh. Hairstyle. Ooh. No. No. I always thought the pixie cut was sexy. No. Ooh, I like that. No. 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 No, no, too much hair. No, bald. No, no. Okay, that's kind of the base of everything. So, all right, let's go. Whoa, there's a ton more. Ton more. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Wait. Well, I kind of like that. Maybe. No. No. Too weird. 
kind of like that. So far, Short Flared seems to be the one I like best. No, actually, Short 8, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, hair shininess. I think you can go shiny. I guess that's fine. Oh boy. Okay, I'm not gonna get into this kind of customization. I think I am good. good for this too. <laughs> I think back to basic seems about right. Hair. No, I, I want the, sh the short. Where'd my... No. I lost my hair. Who knew that choosing hair would be so freaking complicated? Yes. Change colors. I want... Yeah. Cool. Back. Uniform. Ooh. Yay, okay, I could choose this one. Or this one. Or that one. I kinda like that one. Ooh, that's classic. Or I could go with that one. That one's uh that one's okay. Nah, not that one. No, not that one. I like this one. Because it kind of has like a Mass Effect kind of vibe. But uh, this one's kind of neat too. Hmm, what to choose, what to choose, what to choose. This is all very exciting for everyone, I, uh, I, I am certain. I kind of go with... Yeah, I like this one. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Yeah, I want to be tall. Hey, Steve, how are you? I am good. How are you? Who is that? Hello, Ryan. Cool. All right, enter a name. I'm gonna go with Stephanie. Stephanie Sailor. Ha! Stephanie. 
Fanny. Sick at the moment, just taking the day off to heal up. Nice to catch you on the live stream. Thanks! I hope everything's okay and that you're feeling better. Ship name. Hmm. What do I want to call my ship name? Oh, I know. There's a name that I always used to use when I was a kid. Uh, when I would play Sim City, I used to. I, I tried to build a creative city called Olympic. Just kind of like it sounded awesome, but I misspelt it and went and it was called Olympiac. So, I am going to call it the USS Olympiac. <laughs> Alright, just double checking the spelling. Stephanie Sailor, Stephanie Sailor, first mill last, Stephanie Sailor, USS Olympiac. Perfect! Engage! Ooh, I get chills already. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans oh, with their Leonard golden Nimoy. brothers. For many, For many years, years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Live long. Twenty-one years oh, ago, I the star you. of the Opus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Uh -oh. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. Okay. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Oh no! The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Oh no! Now the Borg have reappeared, oh, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. Man, the Alpha Quadrant can't get a break! The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Oh, great! Star Trek Online. Dot com. I miss Leonard Nimoy. Oh. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training course with a bulk of the ship is banned by cadets. Uh, well, I can hear you talking, but I can't hear you talking. Uh, okay. Just get... heavy spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh. Okay. Oh, jeez. It's an academy cadet. This text is so freaking small. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get of your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics final. Oh. Okay. Cool. See, this is what uh, is so hard 
to see because he can't. Okay, I wonder if, if I do I hit options, can I? Let me see if I can increase. No, that's not gonna work. Uh. Oh my gosh. volume. Yeah, always at max. Maybe zoom in the screen. I think I might have to. Um Ay ay ay. Let me see if, yeah, if I kind of make this a bit smaller, like would this help? Not really. <laughs> it just, uh, it just basically moves everything off to the, into the center. Great. Okay. So I guess that's not going to help. Uh, I'm just going to have to suffer through bad game design. Or bad accessibility design. That's my problem always with um, um, with playing these kind of games is that it's just hard to see. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for no all problem. the other times you've helped me. I've always no problem, Bob. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farrick and your assignment, you should find Tabra. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Uh, I have not. I have not actually heard of it. Uh, okay, where do I gotta go? Oh, over here. Greetings. Greetings! Priscilla said yes, I'm Tommy. Good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I no problem, Bob. To accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at the best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Fan freaking tastic. Proud of you. The Tavrell, maybe. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Yeah, no problem. Hashtag LLAP. Hashtag LLAP50. Booyah! Starfleet Academy. Where I go, I learn stuff. I can go fly a ship and zoom in space. And do other stuff. Uh, oh, over there. Oh, shoot. That's how I... Ooh! Okay. That's good to know for later. How do I... Oh, that's how I run. Okay. Talk. There you are. Getting Hi. excited yet? Once sure. we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. 
Yeah! The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. Ooh. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Well, we'll just have to prove them wrong, don't we? Now what? Locate Lieutenant Ferris. I hope that's what his name is. Uh, okay. Where are you? Where's Boothby? He should be around here somewhere. Boothby! Nope, Starfleet Cadet. More Starfleet Cadets. More Starfleet Cadets. And more Starfleet Cadets. Lieutenant. Nope, Cadet. Nope, Cadet. See if you have melee attacks. I do. Cadet, 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 cadet. Everybody's a cadet. Where's the, t the locate? Oh, okay. I guess I found the lieutenant. Perfect. Ha. Good afternoon, ha. cadet. What can I do for you? You're a cat. <laughs> You're a freaking cat. <laughs> You're a freaking cat. <laughs> you just wanted to. I just, just want to bit you. I can't because I'm allergic. But you're a freaking cat! <laughs> is this where I get my training crew's assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Name. Stephanie Sailor. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Tag. He's in the office behind me. One sec. Sorry, something popped up on my screen. The speaker kind of got out of the way. Uh, sorry about that. Hold on. I don't know what happened there. Come on. I have another speaker. Okay. Sorry. Is there a problem? I'm going to have to ask him. Fine. Talk. Okay, I already did. Go to Captain Taggart's office. Where's Captain Taggart's office? Objects you can interact with here are gonna. Okay. Ring bell. Nice digs. Hi. Good at. You asked to see me third. I've been following your progress here at the academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I didn't even do anything yet. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. I know that program is advised for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it. Many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that an issue? Uh, I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. 
Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. Ooh. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, who is this? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell okay. Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Thanks. You're okay. Ooh, nice ships. What are those? What are those? Is that an NX? Or is that... No, it doesn't look like an NX. Okay, so I gotta go to the quad. Where the... Is called quad? What is a quad? Ooh. Here, here you are. Hi. Talk. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Okay, there he says he wants me in the scene staff, but I have to pass advanced training phase you first. Never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now Don't you tell worry, me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Seems like. Now, where Have you is seen this? the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes oh. forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Oh, he's a hologram now? Oh, that's cute. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. You are not going to get away from me. Like lots of running around. Yeah, it seems like. Okay, now what do I do? Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. You yeah, have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. What kind of tactics can it's I expect? standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako Assault Training. You're setting up the program, or are you making you? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. Not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, though. Nah, I'll leave These the These are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Lego. Where do I go? Where do I go? Get a pistol from the locker. From the locker spocker. Favors a requisition. Oh. Got a pistol. Okay. All a deck two. You got this, Steve. Smile. Yeah, he's right. I got this. to the Klingon Bridge. Defeat the targets. Oh, it's more like an RPG. Can't really aim for anything. Well, I'm sorry that I sailed. Let's drive out of combat more detail. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. And the holodeck program. 
How do I end it? Hi. Well done, Kadaxis. Well You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Now, do you have an assignment Absolutely. for me now? I have a new first officer. What? Congratulations. Yay! First officer. Yes. Huh? You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. All I did was shoot four Klingons. Yay. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving you. Talk to Cadet K. I can talk to you. First officer, way to go. Just yeah. a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. What can I say? Captain sees greatness in me. I think you should start referring to me as sir. It's a lot of pressure. Help him up. You'll do, do it. great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Okay. She sounds a bit like Major Barrett. Head for turbo lift. How do I use the turbo lift? Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Devrel cry. <laughs> This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Uh, well, if I could make a Vulcan cry, that would be something. I need a little bit of, uh, courage juice. Done. So everyone's by the bar, eh? Okay. Lead a toast. May I have everyone's attention? Inspire the cadets, intimidate the cadets. Be humble. I'm gonna inspire, because I feel like an inspiration today. Did you wake up this morning and feel like you were gonna be an inspiration? I bet you didn't, but if you did, you're awesome, and if you didn't, there's still always tomorrow to wake up and be an inspiration. How's that for inspiring? I feel like I'm a cat poster. <laughs> We are the senior staff of the USS Olympiac. Each and every one of us is, has trained for this task at hand, and we are ready. As well. Thanks! Continue to heart, heart the cadets, dishearten the cadets, be humble. I know the I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has, and together we can do anything. Galvanize the cadets, terrorize the cadets, show humility. All I ask is that we support one another. If we can, we can work as a team. We can accomplish our goals. To Starfleet Academy, to the USS Olympiac, to her crew. Raise a glass to the class of 2409. Booyah! All right. Uh, do we gotta go to shuttles now? Oh, I guess we do. Hi. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let go. I'm wearing my Star Trek hat in honor of Star Trek Day, 50th anniversary. Give Dom the prosper. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Yeah! Oh, look at that. What's our ship? What's our ship? What's our ship? What's our ship? The USS Vesta, first of her class. 
Oh. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I want that ship. Wait to Captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, is that bad? point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. I like that. I like that ship. We're the She's final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Tough little, sh tough little ship. Little. Live long and prosper. Yeah, it's right. Uh, talk to you, I guess. I'm going to check in Hi. To the world of Star Trek See you there. Wow, they overhauled the intro from when I started. Yeah, they did. Uh, I'm glad that they went with the Leonard Nimoy. The Borg invasions. Oh, did it not have the Borg invasions at first? No, oh, I did not know that. Talk to the duty officer in the shuttle bay. Okay. Who's the duty officer? You, I guess, with the pointy exclamation point. Oh. I kind of figured. Um, I just wasn't sure um, how, how far into the story it got. I knew it was set in the future. And added more and more as time went on. Oh, okay. In seasons like a TV show. Oh, neat. I like it. So did, did it always start off with basically Spock disappearing after the Ron Romulus destroyed? Name and position? Cadet Stephanie Saylor, acting for Scott. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Where is the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Cool. Oh, okay. All right. Well, at least it kind of lines up with the Kelvin universe. Go to bridge. I'll go to bridge now. I'm on the bridge. Now where do I go? I gotta go to you. Welcome it goes from a set of flavor stories to give you command of a ship, and then you do missions. Oh. Alright, fine. Number one. In my kind, I served as a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, okay. we need to get out of dry dock. Get clearance from control and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Hi, What mission? Uh, to Vrog, get clearance from the traffic control for the invite to leave the gentry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Kelvin is a big addition to this universe, as they added in special Kelvin timeline storylines later. Oh, they did? Oh, cool. I hope I can get to play them later. Flores, send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Good one. Potter, wait for me to, to disable the tractor moorings. Okay, I gotta go to somewhere. I gotta go to the station. Which state? Oh, I gotta go to here. Okay. Did it! Huh, in my intro, they made me pilot in ops positions before making me battlefield captain when most of my bridge crew died. Oh! Shoot! Potter, take us out. One quarter in ops. Captain Mayor, am I to start for the negotiations? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Yeah. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Ooh! I get to sit in the chair beside the big chair. First officer's chair. Ha! Ah! 
we're in a class, there's nothing to be sniffing at. It's all good. In the hood. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good, good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Engage. I'm maxed out and doing nothing but admiralty and Captain, arranging duty officer missions. I am picking missions. up a distress call from the SS break even. Audio only. Never played the game before. Pro. Wish I had this time to ring back. SS break even. Our warp core is failing and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. I also play on PC, but one. it's nice to see it makes a to consoles. Oops, sorry, I was, uh, I was trying to concentrate on the, on the game for a sec. Uh... Uh, do another whatever, I'll get a do the officer missions. Oh, never played the game before, which I tend to do. I also play on PC, but it's nice to see it make it. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it. I had it on Mac for a bit when it came out for that. And then I just stopped because I just wasn't really that interested in playing it on a Mac. Um, although I did have a, I do have a friend who plays it uh, constantly, and I don't know what he's at right now. I think he's left past level 60. But I was so excited when they said they were going to announce it for consoles, so. Anyway, uh, this is a test serve prior to the training crew. Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. Work or emergency shouldn't affect Good. communications. What do you advise? I recommend we go to red alert, full power to weapons, and uh, load to four times repeals. Shields up, sir. Better be safe than sorry. Uh, Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. I agree. Employers, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Cool. Level cap is 6-0, which bleed admiral. Okay. Uh, I know that I guess I got to pay to get past that. Or like pay his thingy. But... Okay, how do I get to the thingy again? Oh, okay. Go to transporter dog. Transporter deck. The, uh, the break even should be in range. I'm getting some weird readings. Too busy with working. Oh. Uh, I can't get a solid lock. It's another cat. Trying to compensate. Free to play. Subscribers just get bonuses in different ships earlier. Beaming them over now. Klingons! Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chart. Oh, you go down, SOB. Revert, come in. What happened? What's his name? Stop. Security is reporting disruptor fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. We're going to help. command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag us out. Done and done. Uh, now where is... Long time to put in a command code. Okay. Get a rifle. Everybody panic. Everybody panic. Don't panic. Nobody panics. Are you panicked? I'm panicked. Hello, Alright, I guess that's that, that that's about it. I can't really load up anything more. Okay. Bye. 
to get out of here. Yeah, I go through here? Alright, fine. How do I get out of here? Oh. Now it tells me. the door? Fine. 
and literally cannot go anywhere. It says you need to repel borders. There must be a Klingon somewhere. Maybe, Maybe. in the transportation. Oh! Ha! Ah. Oh shoot, how do I equip my freaking white rifle again? Yeah, no! No, 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 no! Get, get. How do I. How do I equip my. Equip my rifle! So annoying. Can you equip anything to your R1 or L1 weapons? I don't know. I think I might have screwed something up somehow. I'm gonna punch you to death, I guess. That was a bu like, how did I get that? I lose my phaser. So much shaky cam. Number one, like the we're doing Ridge our best to cripple this Klingon space. Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Camera normally doesn't do that on PC. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Because they hit over the shoulder with the radical fur pencils. I know it's it said that I can actually turn it off. Enable camera shaking off. There we go. Cause that's annoying. Does the tutorial mention how to heal? How to what? Uh, I haven't seen anything. Where the freak is my... What is this? Text for ants? How many phasers? Crying out loud, I'm gonna punch you. I won by punching. Great. 
somehow during all that. It's in the bottom left, with a bar style key over top. Bottom left. A lot of the console view is simplified in comparison. Oh, I just equip my rifle. Br How do I equip my rifle? A lot more stuff is on screen on the PC version. Tutorial option. What about in the inventory options? What inventory options? Equip. Really? Under ship and crew. Maybe a map of the controls. Awesome. I have my thing now. Guess the console tutorial needs work. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think may have I've, I've broken down some. I've broken something. Addressed some of the issues that was brought up with learning skills on your crew members that PC has. I don't know. Stop jumping. Great voice acting there. Is there a turbo lift in here? I don't see a turbo lift. I don't think there is a turbo lift. Uh, there's no turbo lift. Ever since they changed how your crew members acquire new skills, they made it even more convoluted for them to actually learn them. Oh. I like the score, music. 
Yeah, I do too. Oh, someone tucked up, Captain. How do I just jump from melee to... They also have other upgrades that can be applied, like my Tire 5 upgrade pack. It's for a Tire 5 ship that can be upgraded. D something in white. Sickle is melee with weapon. That's what it says. I can't. You'll get it. There we go. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Charter. You may have forced my board to call it off your decks, but our ship remains corrupt. You have no hope of fighting us. Or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain, and then destroy your ship. Never! Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? What'd you do? Order your crew to surrender, Captain! The Klingon or ship chart has the sound screen LOL. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. The orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Oh shit! Beep, 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 beep. That's not cool. We have target it looks like they're borrowing some of the story elements from Star Trek Zero Nine. Fire! That's right, you fire. You fire and you destroy them. And hell's heart, I stab at thee. Yeah, bitch! <laughs> We've lost their signal. What now? Good question. I don't know what now. We survived, but the captain, Captain Taggart, knew what happened. He gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> One that we all might have called to the He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember. I barely knew the guy. Take a seat in the big chair. Oh yeah, Grandma. Okay. Talk to first officer. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. 
Keep trying, Elise. What's the status of that Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. I wonder if they'll let console players cross over with PC players. I don't think so. From what I'd heard, uh, my friend uh, Justin wants to play with me, but I don't think he can because he's on PC. Well, he was a captain at the start of this adventure. He didn't have a long shelf lid. Uh, Killing the break even now, Captain. As this is break even, this is the Starfleet vessel USS Olympiac. What is your status? Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to throw my ship into space and jump. Mm-hmm. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help well, me? if Justin wants more Federation officers, I can join uh, him, since I'm a Federation admiral. I don't know if he's Federation. I assume he is. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from Kaden. Move the ship forward. Okay. How do I move the ship forward? How do I move the ship forward? Full impulse. Full impulse. Okay. D pad up. Oh, okay. Really? That was it? They're not very intuitive. Position yourself near the ship and press X to interact with it. Okay. Thanks. We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that. Huh? Sure, buddy. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cooked ship full of Klingons? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all and the plasma projectiles are damaged. It's just setting the meter. You merely control the steering. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it! Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Okay. Uh, press R2 to fire energy weapons. Okay. Taking you scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying.
wanna go faster again? Uh jeez. Master? I am moving, right? It's cold and lonely in the deep dark night. Yeah, it is. Can I literally not go faster? You know what? I'll be right back. I'm just gonna let this sit for a sec. <laughs> Doesn't appear so steep. Think you are floating still. Definitely moving. I just want to go in, like full impulse. Can I go full impulse?
they are off like a herd of turtles. So I recovered two of three. Did I just go the wrong way? Try holding D-pad up and see if you can achieve full impulse, which doubles movement speed. No, nothing. Oh dear lord in heaven! This is so boring now. Control stick up then. I think I probably just flew too far. The game shows you the full impulse, which doubles movement speed. Well, I have it in my quick launch uh, bar, but it, it, I guess I just don't have enough power to, to use it. Oh dear lord. Yeah, otherwise this is just backpacking to get longer gameplay hours. <laughs> I'm even trying to do that. I think I just probably missed something because I thought I had to go further into the debris field. And I screwed myself over. Normally, full impulse has only one limitation, battle. Yeah, you'd think. Cause that's the thing, it's like, it's, it's... It's like right here. R2 use power. Yeah, it literally doesn't allow me to do it. I guess I'm just not that far in the tutorial. Oh, there we go. This is probably faster LOL. At least now I have something to shoot at, at some point when I get to it. This is boring. I'm surprised that the game didn't try to tell me, like, hey, idiot, go back the other way. <laughs> I literally spent 20 minutes, I think, just trying to get past this. Close to something. Okay, now I can fire. Thank goodness. Did 
Did I get it? No. The map helps with the big yellow circle, and if you go too far out of that area, a box pops up with, there's nothing on sensors capped. Sending the Planet Express crew to rescue you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks. I think I kind of need it. Game's got a not so good UI. These plasma injectors are tricks, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter float cooked with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Zarba's dealing with the warp part. But until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battle cruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Okay. Destroy jamming satellite. Use your phaser banks to weaken shield the targets. Good. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. I mean, the controls are relatively simple, so I'm not having to do a heck of a lot, but still. I mean, they could just made the GUI a little bit easier. Yes. Where'd you go? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find him. Do it. We need to find him before he ambushes Understood. us again. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Finally, we have an also advantage. The source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach. Yeah, now I get full impulse. This temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can't make your death swift. Where you go? Uh, hold. Sometimes the simplest controls are the toughest to figure out. Very true. Going to uh, 
High your torpedo will increase the power of your neck. Okay. Done fighting. Incoming transmission, sir. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Klingon Marauders. The captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on all his positions. Did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. So, I take it you are in command now. Yes, sir, I Very am. well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. Well, the Klingon that killed Captain Taggart, sir. Kadak is still out there. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown out. Yes, sir. Where you go? Oh, over there. to go do. Accepting danger is part of being a Starfleet officer. You have learned this lesson well. I tire of this! It's time to finish this fight! The renowned will escort the Earth space dock. Yeah, yeah. But first, we must inform the USS Kittimer that. One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. Uh oh. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew and final decision making ability for your ship until we reach Earth space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. Kids here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I think that's actually where I'm going to end it tonight. I didn't think I was going to take this long. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's kind of got boring somewhere near the end there. But uh, anyway, thank you so much. Uh, happy Star Trek 50th anniversary. This is, uh, I love Star Trek. If you want to be able to check out uh, I did a video kind of talking about the, my favorite memories of uh, Star Trek, including talking about how my first date went, and that relates to Star, we uh, Star Trek, so just check that out. Anyway, um, thank you so much. Uh, as always, I remain obedient to yours. It's a new title for consoles. I went nuts on Twitter for my memories of Star Trek. <laughs> 
I'm glad. That's uh, that's awesome. So I and I shared your video earlier. Thank you. Yes, I did see that. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, all right. As always, I mean, obedience to yours. Bye.